ஓகே காலேஜ் போட்டோ பிரிவு ஒன்று வருது
between what we are experiencing and what we want to experience i professor s balan bihai extend a very warm welcome to all of you present here for the second day of our faculty development program on empowerment through emotional intelligence organized by our annai college of arts and science in collaboration with iqac and ict academy of tamil nadu I cordially invite our beloved principal, Dr. S. P. Manikya Vasuhi Ma, I K S A coordinator, Mrs. Lata Ma, Vice Principal, Professor Ilan Chelian Sir, and Professor Raja Sir, Placement Coordinator and Admin, Dr. Tirumalan Sir, and Technical Supporter and YouTube Live Coordinator, Professor Pathi Ban Sir, and a warm and a warm welcome to all of our dear participants. We feel glad and proud to say. that we have participants from karnataka maharashtra jharkhand arunachal pradesh uttar pradesh madhya pradesh pondicherry kerala assam telangana chatisgarh bihar etc i must mention our deep sense of appreciation for our chief guest dr balamurhan sir for his fantastic work by making excellent presentations and handling the session very interesting and informative now i invite our chief guest to take over the session welcome you sir uh, very good morning welcome, sir uh, good morning sir good morning madam good morning sir shall i start the session yes <laughs> sir you can proceed on uh, it is thank you thank you thank you sir. very very good morning one and all uh, present uh, here uh, and it's really a great uh, uh, news uh, college in kumbakonam uh, organizing a two day fdp uh, in uh, getting uh, participants from almost uh, uh, 20 states uh, all over india apart from tamil nadu that's really a very good uh, uh, news uh, congratulations to the principal uh sri annai college of arts and science uh, uh, congratulations to uh, uh professor balambi hai and uh, mr uh, uh tirumulan uh, the gentleman who has been uh, supporting me uh, from yesterday and of course the other uh, uh, gentlemen who have been talking uh, themselves in arrangements and all so in fact entire team the entire team of the college they are taking a very good uh, uh, support and work in organizing this program effectively i congratulate uh, each and every one uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, we move on to the presentation uh, today uh, being uh, second day uh, we straight away going into the presentation as uh, like yesterday uh, there are uh, uh, three or four videos are there as a test i request you to participate in the uh in the psychological test that will be conducted during the course of the uh, presentation so let us uh, go to the presentation straight away
Mr. Tirumulan, is, is the screen is clear? PPT? Yes, sir, it's clear. Ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, empowerment through emotional intelligence, uh, a faculty development program organized by Annai College of Arts and Science, uh, Kumbakonam in collaboration with the ICT Academy, right? Uh, a very special appreciation once again to the to Dr. S. P. Manikya Vasugi, uh, Principal, Annai College of Arts and Science, Kumbakonam, and other uh, uh, HODs and faculty members. So let us go to the presentation, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, empowerment through emotional intelligence. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, is the topic that we started yesterday. Uh, we just uh, started with, I just would like to uh, share you what are all the <coughs> topics that we covered yesterday. Just recapping, we just started with the discussing empowerment, uh, followed by uh, we have seen some of the uh, uh, games and all. After that, uh, we have discussed uh, the intellectual quotient and uh, emotional quotient, that is the IQ and the EQ and their importance and all. Uh, then next we moved to uh, feeling and thinking uh, and all, and in simultaneously we conducted several uh, uh, IQ tests. And of course, uh, uh, we have also visited uh, uh, some of the best uh, some of the best uh, uh, IQ test uh, in the world uh, through virtually. Uh, I have taken you to, to the website directly and we have uh, seen all those uh, websites. And uh, finally, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we uh, closed with uh, some of the basic points with regard to the emotional intelligence. Okay, uh, now uh, we move on to uh, today's session, this is what uh, we, we have seen in the last uh, slide. Uh, emotional intelligence, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, emotional intelligence, uh, uh, and uh, what do you mean by that? In fact, emotional intelligence, or other way we call it as uh, Emotional quotient or emotional EI is the is the capability of individuals to recognize their own emotions and uh, and those of others and those of others uh, between the different feelings and label them appropriately. Use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior, and of course adjust uh, emotions on to adapt the environment, ladies and gentlemen. Emotional intelligence, on the other way, we are also termed as is an ability to understand or to ability to use and to manage your own emotions in a positive ways uh, to 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 relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, and of course to overcome challenges and and diffuse conflict and diffuse conflict. That is how it has been discussed in a different way. Let us have the history of uh, emotional intelligence. Uh, emotional intelligence was first introduced by Abraham Maslow, a famous psychologist in the year, 19, in the year 1950s. In fact, the term emotional intelligence uh, uh, seems first to have appeared in 1964 in an article by Michael. Uh, he introduced the idea of multiple intelligence, which, which included both interpersonal intelligence. Uh, that means the capacity uh, to understand the intentions, motivations, and desires of other people. Uh, that is what we call it as that, uh, interpersonal intelligence, right? And uh, intrapersonal intelligence. Once again, uh, you may ask me, what do you mean by intrapersonal intelligence? Intrapersonal intelligence is just nothing but the capacity to understand oneself and to appreciate one's feelings, fears, and motivations. 
one's feelings, fears, and motivations. So, so in such a way, this emotional intelligence terms uh, has been explained by uh, Professor Michael Bildock uh, in the year uh, 1964 in an article uh, written by him. Right. So then, then, then late in 1998, a Harvard Business Review article entitled, What Makes a Leader? The title called What Makes a Leader caught the attention of a senior management at Johnson & Johnson Consumer Companies. Johnson & Johnson Consumer Companies. Uh, they was very much uh, eager to know about uh, the uh, the co basic concepts about um, the emotional intelligence and how it can be used for their uh, company's welfare and all. Right. So the article spoke to the importance of emotional intelligence in leadership success and cited several studies that demonstrated that uh, emotional intelligence is often the distinguishing factor between a great leaders and average leaders. <coughs> the JJCC, that is Johnson & Johnson Consumer Company, funded a study which concluded that there was a strong, remember, there was a very strong relationship between superior performing leaders and their emotional competency. So if you have a high emotional competency, if you have high emotional intelligence, automatically your performance both in the administration, your performance in the leadership will be very high. So that is what uh, the, the theory uh, talks about. That is what the article is talks about, ladies and gentlemen, right. So now we move on to the next uh, slide, uh, friends. Uh, the basics of uh, emotional intelligence. What do you mean by that? What are the basics uh, that you have? Basics, I mean here the, the, the emotions. What are the different uh, emotions that we come across in our day-to-day -day life? Uh, for example, yesterday you may have a different emotion. Yesterday evening you may have a different emotions. Night you may have a different emotion. And today morning you may have a different emotions. And probably now after attending the class, you may have a different emotions. Emotions of the individual changes in an hour, in a minute, or in a seconds, or whatever may be. It depends upon the circumstances in which the individual is living. So that is what uh, we call it as a basics, my dear friends. Emotional intelligence is the ability to monitor one's own and other people's emotions to, to discriminate between different emotions and label them appropriately and to use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior. So this is something very, very important in terms of understanding the basic emotions of uh, the uh, uh, each and every individual. Uh, let's see the uh, slide, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there are uh, different uh, emotions are there in uh, emoji format. I have uh, I have shown you uh, different emojis. Uh, uh, with, with the different feelings, happy, sad, scared, worried, confused, angry, silly, surprised, uh, right, surprised and bored, frustrated, confident uh, and excited. These are all, uh, of course, uh, these are all the basic uh, uh, major emotions. Within these uh, emotions, we may have a different uh, sub emotions and all. Everything can be included in this. Let's see one by one, my dear friends. Uh, what do you mean by uh, what do you mean by happy and everything that has been come across? Right. Uh, when we talk about the happy, um, happy is someone or something that is feeling great pleasure or joy of the particular individual. Right. Coming to next one, sad. Sad is defined as feeling upset or unhappy about something. Unhappy about something. Scared. Definition of scars uh, is something frightening or a sudden panic of a uh, sudden uh, panic of fear. Right. Uh, next, uh, we move on to the other uh, points, uh, my dear friends. Worried. What do you mean by worry? Worry is something that causes you to feel uneasy, anxious, 
or a troubled uh, troubled state of mind during that time you you will not be comfortable you will not be comfortable so that is what we call it as an worry confused uncertain what to do or unable to understand clearly when you are in a confused mind you are, you will be in uncertain mindset you don't know what to do what not to do and all uh, you can't able to understand uh, the, the 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 things around you uh, clearly that is what we call it as a confused mindset coming to next one anger a strong feeling of annoyance or displeasure or hostility so that is what we call it as an anger uh, coming to next one my dear friends uh, uh, silly what is silly weak minded or lacking good sense or uh, or doing or or, uh, or you have a mind of uh, mindset of stupid things or foolish things during the time uh, you feel it's uh, silly things right uh, coming to next one surprise it of course the feeling caused by something uh, unexpected or uh, unusual and coming to next one bored the state of being weary on the restless uh, through uh, through uh, lack of uh, interest through the uh, lack of interest that is what we call it as and next we call it as an i am feeling uh, coming to this one uh, frustrated uh, Uh, this does nothing but is prevented someone from accomplishing uh, something or annoyed someone frustrated right prevented someone from accomplishing or uh, something or annoyed someone confident what do you mean by confident it is to be certain about something or feeling sure of yourself and your abilities uh, confident is always uh, is totally a different one when you have a more and more confident uh, on yourself or that is other way we call it as self confident your performance will be something uh, very very clever so at whatever things happen around you i request all of you my dear young faculty members uh, don't lose your confident right that is the only way that is the only thing you can, you can uh, come up in your life right uh, coming to next one excited my dear friends uh, having showing are characterized by the heightened heightened state of energy enthusiasm uh, eagerness etc that is what uh, we call it as an uh, um, right now we move on to next one my dear friends uh, i have a personality test uh, a video uh, yes it's time to uh, time to get the support of mr tirumolan uh, are you ready there tirumolan sir Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Now the video, the, the test is there once again. Uh, it is a video with so many of questions. So once again, it will be uh, three minutes only, like um, uh, yesterday. And uh, I request all the participants to send your answers in the chat box uh, quickly, quickly. Uh, because uh, that uh, that is evidence for you to get the so, uh, certificate of appreciation, right? once first you first you uh, send your answer to chat box then you can discuss uh, in case if time permits you can discuss um, uh, through the mic in the meantime i can request uh, mr tirumolan to uh, unmute your mic in case if it is needed because i have another uh, uh, 60 slides uh, today yesterday we have seen only uh, 28 or 30 slides another 72 slides are there totally 103 slides i have prepared for this two day program so i have another 68 to 39 uh, the 69 slides are there so i have to complete within the time limit so i request all the participants uh, to to answer or to send your answers in the chat box right okay shall we move Yes, sir yes okay i will just uh, show you the personality test uh,
uh, participants, uh, it is a psychological test basically. Right, uh, there will be seven images uh, will be coming in the short video. Uh, after uh, uh, the first, for the first instant of the first seeing itself, uh, you may you may uh, see you may uh, visible you, get, you may visit uh, some image. Right, look at each image quickly and stick with the whatever you see first. You might see other objects also. Remember, you might see other objects also after observing cleanly. But don't change your first answer. So keep uh, watching, keep seeing the images. Uh, that will show us about your quality, your intellectual, your uh, mindset, and your uh, no, uh, uh, intelligence. Right. So I am uh, starting the video. At the end of every image, you will be presented uh, three options, right? Each of these will have a corresponding score. Remember, each of these uh, options will have a corresponding score. Choose your answer plus score, then add up the scores after every image. In fact, uh, you can, uh, I told you yesterday, you are going to evaluate uh, your own test. So some of you may perform well yesterday, maybe your score will be with you. You can add with the same score even today. And finally you can share with in the in the in the last minute. You can share your feedback, right? Your personality result will be dependent on your final score. I will give you enough time. Uh, see the screen. See the screen. Observe what you have seen. Probably you can find out more objects after seeing the image very keenly. But keep right everything what you observe, right? But the first observation is very important. What did you see first? Face, apples, person sitting, right? What did you see first? Face, apples, person sitting. Write it in your paper, then you can inform. This is another image. This is another image. What did you see first? What are all the objects you are seeing? We will see the result at the end of the video. In this image, what did you see first? Whether a car or a man with the binoculars or a letter A. We move on to next image.
what did you see first? Bowling pins, footprints, nesting dolls. What did you see first? Was there an apple or a butterfly or a knife? <laughs> what did you see first in this image? A face. One, one point. Your dog, two point. What did you see first? The crocodile, the mountain waters, people at a boat. What did you see first? The whale, the moon, and light on water, the person surfing. Remember, one, two, three. One is one mark, two is two mark, and three is three mark. Right. If you what is your score that shows here? If you scored between 10 to 13, you are a very stable personality. Uh, this is what uh, we have seen. If you secured uh, your mark between 10 to 13, you are a very stable personality. There is no doubt on that, right? Remember, and uh, now we move on to next one. It's the same score. If you scored between 14 to 17, you are an optimistic personality. Right. You are a, if you secured the 14 to 17, you are optimistic personality. And uh, if you scored between seven to nine, lower as well as higher. So that is what the personality talks about. Remember, both lower as well as the higher level If you scored between 7 to 9 or between 18 to 21, you are a, a creative personality, right? Okay. Uh, due to time constraints, we are moving a little far. First, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we move on to the next slide. 
is emotional intelligence is a skill or behavior and if you ask me this question i will say yes it is both uh, uh, it is both a uh, skill as well as uh, the behavior so without uh, uh, a basic skill you cannot uh, improve your emotional intelligence uh, because it is an ability to understand your own emotions uh, is an intelligent skill uh, that can be developed by way of uh, a systematic and active uh, participation right and uh, coming to the next slide ladies and gentlemen uh, when we talks about the leadership and other things uh, uh the emotional intelligence have a two uh, important concepts one is intrapersonal another one is uh, interpersonal emotions uh, like uh, self awareness uh, that leads to social awareness and uh, behavior like uh, self management managing yourself uh, leads to relationship management and in the work nature uh, in the intrapersonal that is on the individual the self performance uh, uh leads to self management uh, relationship management and uh, people's management you can see how the intrapersonal activities intrapersonal skills uh, leads to the interpersonal skills uh, when when you are not in a position to manage yourself you cannot uh, uh, maintain relationship with others effectively that is what uh, this uh, diagram is basically uh, talks about right uh, emotional intelligence uh, in leadership my dear friends right uh, there are several studies uh, there are several studies uh, that attempt to study the relationship between emotional intelligence uh, and leadership although emotional intelligence does play a positive role when it comes to leadership effectiveness what actually makes a leader what actually makes a leader effective is what he or she does with his role rather than his interpersonal skills and abilities my dear friends although in the past a good or effective leader was the one who gave orders and controlled the overall performance of the organization almost uh, everything is different nowadays because leaders are now expected to motivate and create a sense of belongingness that will make employees feel comfortable uh, and of course thus making the work more effectively however uh, this uh, does not mean that uh, that these actions are more important than emotional intelligence <coughs> encouraging flexibility in the decision making and embracing the uh, change among the people uh, is the very very important aspects in developing the leadership among the uh, employers among the employees that people working in an organization so that uh, plays a very important role a proper way to to grow emotionally for instance uh, is developing a sense of empathy uh, since the empathy is the key factor when it comes to uh, a, a case of emotional intelligence uh, my dear friends uh, now uh, we move on to uh, the next uh, Uh, topic uh, models of uh, emotional intelligence uh, this is a very very important uh, uh, slide uh, another uh, eight slides uh, is very very important because we are talking about uh, the models of emotional intelligence uh, uh, there are three basic models that has been developed by different uh, um, authors uh, famous authors in those days uh, let we discuss one by one my dear friends right uh model there are three models are there number one is daniel goldman's uh, emotional intelligence uh, performance model uh, number two is uh, revan boran's uh, emotional intelligence competencies model and the third one is uh, mayer salovi and uh, caruso's uh, emotional intelligence ability model right so uh, let us discuss one by one my dear friends uh, emotional intelligence or what is commonly referred to as uh, eq has been claimed to be the key to success in life despite uh, the fact that the theories or the models of emotional intelligence 
only really came about in 1990 much has been written about this topic in fact since then it has been argued by some people uh, my dear friends that uh, emotional quotient eq the is even more important than uh, than the somewhat less controversial uh, term uh, called as uh, intelligent quotient other way we call it as iq uh, yesterday we have seen iq is just uh, just the intelligence of uh, of a person in a particular uh, concept or subject or theory whereas eq is very very important where you can able to win the minds of the people in the world so in such a way eq is very very important uh, uh, than iq right uh, why uh, we used to uh, bothering uh, why we have to discuss uh, emotional intelligence uh, why we have to uh, conduct a faculty development program on uh, emotional intelligence yes there is a reason behind that my dear friends uh, because emotional intelligence is uh, everywhere we look at uh, without it uh, we would be uh, to avoid a great part uh, of a uh, human experience right when you want to improve yourself when you want to develop yourself when you want to become a leader it should be thorough enough you should improve your uh, emotional intelligence high so that is how uh, this uq and uh, uh, ei it is very important uh, now we move on to daniel goleman's uh, uh, emotional intelligence uh, performance model my dear friends uh, this is the article uh, written by sorry this is the book uh, written by daniel goleman on the right side i show you uh, emotional intelligence why it can matter more than iq that is what uh, the daniel goleman says book uh, the one of the best and uh, uh, in fact one of the best selling and uh, the only best book available in emotional intelligence is uh, uh, daniel goleman emotional intelligence when time permits uh, uh, you uh, you get this book uh, this book is available in some of the famous libraries in uh, in tamil nadu the madras uh, kanimara library and of course the anna library uh, and of course the madras university of course even in bharathidasan university uh, this daniel goldman even in bim bharath institute of management and iim trichy all these uh, libraries this uh, uh, daniel goldman emotional intelligence book is very much available uh this gentleman born on uh, march 7th 1946 uh, is still alive at the age of 75 uh, the birthplace is stockton california in united states uh, he did his studies in amherst college and as well as in harvard university uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, goldman did his uh, research in india as a pre doctoral fellowship from harvard post doctoral grant from social science research council and of course goldman then returned as visiting lecturer in the Harvard University, my dear friends. He is the man uh, uh, we call it as a Daniel Goleman, and is one of the best uh, psychologists in the world in terms of emotional intelligence. The internationally best-selling book, Emotional Intelligence, was written by uh, Daniel Goleman in 1995, uh, published by uh, Bantam Books, uh, is more than one and a half years on the New York Times uh, best-sellers list. So that is the that is the achievement of this book, so my dear friend. Uh, is the recent best seller he has written another book is focus the hidden driver of excellence uh, published by the harper in 2013 uh, ladies and gentlemen we move on to the next slide uh, daniel goleman's uh, emotional intelligence uh, performance model what this theory talks about goleman defines it as the ability to identify access and control one's own emotions and the emotions of others and that of groups really that is the that is the speciality of the importance of emotional intelligence my dear friends the ability to identify the ability to access the ability to control one's own emotions the emotions of others and and the emotions of the groups in the society first you have to control your emotions first you have to control the emotions of your family members or your own uh, uh, students then you can able to control the emotions of the uh, students or in the class or in the college or in the society that is what daniel goldman's emotional intelligence performance talks about goldman developed a performance based model of eq to access employee levels of emotional intelligence and to identify areas of improvement my dear friends this is the model 
this is the model. This we have just seen the uh, summary of the uh, theory, the summary of the model in the previous slide, and this is the model of the Daniel Goldman's uh, emotional intelligence uh, performance model. He talks about first self. We have to take care of the individual first self. Then only we can talk about the social. If you are not clean, you would have no right to talk about cleanliness in the society. If you are not perfect, you would have no right to talk about the perfectness among the others. If you are not systematic, you have no right to talk about the system in the society. That is what the Daniel Goldman said. Emotional intelligence performance is talks about regulation and recognitions, my dear friends. He has a two important classification. One is self, another one is social. When he talks about self, he has a self confidence and self management. And when we move on to the social, he talks about the social awareness as well as the relationship management. Remember, the the arrow marks both from self awareness to social awareness, from social awareness to relationship management. And my dear friends, when the self awareness also goes to the self management, and from the self management, it goes to relationship management that through that you can be able to maintain a very very strong relationship in the society that is what the daniel goldman's uh, emotional intelligence is talks about the, we have another slide with a clear example with the clear pictureization what the daniel goldman's uh, talks about with the same uh, points uh, what i know that is called the self awareness uh, uh, and the social awareness what i have to do that is called the self management and the relationship management this arrow mark uh, how it goes uh, uh, talks about uh, it should start from us it should start from self then only it will go on to others that was the first model that we discuss participants uh, mr tirumolam yes sir uh, please uh, switch on the mic uh, uh okay. let let we have a discussion with participants okay sure <coughs> yes you can proceed sir okay uh, participants are you uh, are you available yes are sir you? yeah yes. thank you yes, uh, sir. yeah thank you thank you thank you just uh, uh, just i wanted to talk to you that's all because i am i am uh, talking uh, from uh, 10:30 onwards right oh uh, how do you feel about this uh, uh, this theory whether this theory is understand clearly to you models yes sir yes sir models of daniel yes uh, somebody clearly, can, sir. yes somebody can natural uh, can make it uh, summarize the theory someone anybody introduce uh, your name introduce your name your college your designation or department then you start explaining I am Dr. Neema Sundari, AM Jain College, Meenam Bhavan, Chennai, sir. Good Very morning. Good. Very good morning. Uh, yes, talks about this theory, Daniel Goldman theory. Okay, what uh, what this theory talks about? So, uh, in my point of view, uh, the ability to control uh, one's own emotions. Self self emotions. Yes, sir. Okay. when you can able to control yourself automatically the rest of the things can be can be controlled right yes, sir yes yes absolutely correct thank you thank you sir, anybody thank you. anybody can i get one gentleman yes sir this is yeah. balas subramanian jagannath uh, i am a basic trainer chennai chennai sir very I'm good i will have it okay so <laughs> There's a disturbance. Oh, somebody, somebody. Okay. Yes, okay. sir. Some. Okay. So some interruptions are there. So yes, yes. Yes, sir. Make it fast. Uh, Make it fast. Emo emotional intelligence uh, is uh, like you no. Know, it's a. Uh, it's about balancing one's own mind. Okay. Uh, it is necessary not only for uh, any professional or uh, academic place, even for personal life. It will be useful. You not know, to handle self. And and how it will it will uh, equip a person to be how to be empathetic and uh, sympathetic towards others because uh, when we meet uh, when we meet uh, several persons in the society 
uh, people would be of different uh, uh, i mean uh, like you no know, they are they'll be like you no know, their their strength in emotional intelligence would be they could be vary some would be weak and some would, some would be uh, strong so the one who is you no know, uh, able to uh, judge his own uh, emotional intelligence will be able to uh, no address other issue issues also like no okay, okay. no yeah your 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 point is correct but yes, my sir. question is my question is uh, uh, what you what is your uh, opinion about this daniel uh, theory theory the self awareness social awareness and self management and relationship management yes sir it is uh, it is just i mean if you put it in a nutshell that's sir uh, uh, yes daniel goldman is trying to say there is no room for hypocrisy Like ah, cha cha, absolutely. Yes. That's one more thing. Absolutely correct. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, thank yes, you. Uh, Mr. Dhirumolan, you can uh, switch off the mic. You can mute the mic of all the participants. We can continue our presentation. Mr. Dhirumolan, continue, sir. Continue. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. so thank you ladies and gentlemen we will continue that that was the first model that we have seen daniel goldman's uh, uh, model now we move on to the second model and after the after seeing the second model i will call another two faculty members let them share uh, uh, their opinion this is the uh, this is the second model uh, baron's uh, uh, emotional intelligence uh, competencies model remember it is not a singular it is a plural that he has developed baron's emotional intelligence competencies model and this is the gentleman a famous professor revon baron revon baron and he was born in on, on 15th may 1944 he is still alive and at the age of 76 he been living in united states his, his birthplace is san diego california in united states and of course he is a clinical psychologist and as another gentleman uh, professor known for emotional intelligence next to next to uh, the, the first one the first person right that what we have seen daniel <coughs> now we have seen the baron's emotional intelligence competencies model right what this theory is talks about my dear friend baron's conceptual model talks about an array of interrelated emotional and uh, social competencies remember international emotional and uh, social competencies it de determined how effective individuals are at understanding and uh, expressing themselves how you, how individuals are very effective at, at uh, understanding the others feelings as well as expressing themselves see this is what uh, uh this perron's uh, basic concept uh, uh, on his theory right understanding or how effective how each individual is very effective in understanding uh, and expressing themselves in understanding the others emotions and expressing themselves so, so that is what the very keen may uh, difference understanding others is very very important and interacting with them as well as uh, as uh, uh, coping uh, with the daily demands and uh, challenges this is something uh, very very important uh, with the masvelas uh, coping with the daily demands coping with the daily demands you may have a so uh, you may have so many uh, social family commitments or responsibilities your children will be there your wife is doing something your parents will be there your brothers will be there your sisters will be there uh, all there with, 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 with the so many disruptions will so many challenges Uh, you should improve yourself by way of uh, understanding your own emotions as well as expressing yourself effectively that is what baron's uh, emotional intelligence competencies model uh, talks about now we can uh, discuss uh, uh, very clearly these are the five basic concepts uh, these are the five basic concepts that uh, uh, baron's emotional intelligence uh, competency model is talks about right i will ask this question at the end of my discussion or not uh, now immediately uh, at the end of this uh, uh, slide and uh, any two gentlemen uh, or professors uh, anybody uh, please uh, you know uh, prepare to talk to me or by phone right self perception right? there are five basic uh, uh, concepts that has been developed by the baron model one is self perception right uh, the second one is self expression 
third one is interpersonal fourth one is uh, decision making and of course the fifth fifth one is uh, uh, stress management right uh, when we talk about uh, uh, this uh, very clearly my dear friend uh, uh, self perception self expression interpersonal decision making stress management again all the five is having a sub contact sub sections of uh, another three uh, uh, concepts in self perception it has self regard self actualization emotional self awareness in self expression once again they got emotional expressions assertiveness and independence and when we talks about the interpersonal and again it has interpersonal relationship empathy social responsibility and when it comes to decision making my dear friends problem solving reality testing impulse control is always the and when we talks about the last one is called stress management again it is having three sub points those are the three sub points are flexibility uh, stress tolerance and <laughs> optimization optimization so <coughs> that is what uh, baron's uh, emotional intelligence model is talks about the competency model is talks about right now we move on to the uh, yes the next one uh, um, before going to discuss the next one thirumulan uh, uh, please switch on the mic of the participants uh, if anybody interested to share about this uh, baron's uh, model yes sir sure Uh, participants, uh, uh, the mic is on, and uh, please introduce yourself. If uh, anybody sir, interested, uh, can share about something about this model. Sir, I am Janis Bibiana. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, I able to hear, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. we able to hear you. Yes, sir. As per Baran's view. Which college? Which department? Uh, Saint Thomas College, uh, Chennai, sir. Chennai, very good. Yeah. Uh, belong to commerce department and as per uh, baron's view uh, ea is the ability to perceive uh, understand and manage the manage. feelings yes, uh, yes. thoughts and behaviors of one's own and that of others yes 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 uh, you, also you got... uh, there are five factors as well as uh, that is five elements responsible for the emotional quotient the, that are interpersonal relationship that includes self perception and self expression then interpersonal relationship decision making and stress That's management yes. okay am i right sir thank you thank you you, you did it very well how, uh, how was the, how was the program yesterday and today yeah yeah excellent sir very useful okay uh, yes sir uh, thank you thank you the credit goes oh. to anna college ah uh, yes yeah, uh, sure, they have sure, identified sure. me and uh, the effort has been taken by the principal of yes, the college sir. Uh, definitely yes. definitely thank, yeah. you, thank, thank you sir. thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you so now we move on to next slide ladies and gentlemen you can uh, uh, mute uh, you can mute uh, participants my mr thirumola thank you sir thank you we can we can move on to next uh, slide ladies and gentlemen uh, this is the Uh, third model this is the third model uh, developed by mayer salovi and uh, caruso's uh, emotional intelligence ability model these are the three gentlemen uh, that they have developed uh, uh, this model we have seen what this model is uh, talks about uh, uh, my dear friends uh, uh, mayer salovi uh, uh, caruso's emotional intelligence ability model uh, has uh, uh, four fundamental emotional related abilities Uh, they are uh, number one perception or expressions of emotion uh, use of emotion to facilitate uh, thinking understanding of emotion and of course uh, the the last one is uh, uh, management of emotion in oneself and others of course if you can see my dear friends uh, all the all the three models they have interrelated uh, uh, meaning of course in somewhere other uh, there is a slight interrelation say in the discussions in spite of that they have developed this model in a different way and these three professors mayer salovey and caruso has uh, developed on the basis of the perception on the basis of the facilitating thinking on the basis of the understanding the emotions and of course on the basis of the uh, management of emotion of uh, oneself and others right mm, now 
uh, we will discuss about um, the this uh, same model uh, same model in a, in a diagrammatical presentation my dear friends uh, this is what is got the you can see the, the below you just follow the cursor yeah uh, this is number one perceive and identity emotion it goes to different direction right one is for two another one is for three <coughs> and it goes to uh, fourth one is managing the emotions uh, both understanding and using emotion that leads to the managing emotion right in this but whereas uh, in this model in the, the same model uh, it has been uh, uh, goes with a different um, uh, cycle uh, perceiving is here number one is perceiving uh, emotions perceiving the emotions and using the emotion to facilitate a cognitive process understanding the emotional in informations and uh, finally uh, it goes to uh, managing the emotions uh, and how we uh, we can able to control the emotions and all right so that is what um, they talks about uh, now we move on to uh, the. We have another uh, test. Uh, it is a uh, we have we have a test on emotional intelligence. We have a short video uh, of anybody interested to talk to about this theory or uh, shall we? Okay, but due to time constraints, um, we move on to uh, next one, my dear friends. Uh, uh, there is a short video that now. Uh, please prepare yourself to participate in this video. I will play it a little slowly so that you can take part actively. And uh, please watch uh, this video and uh, give your answer. Uh, please keep a paper or pen with you, right? Now the it is not it is a different one. Now the questions will come, and uh, multiple choice uh, answers will be there. Immediately you can uh, uh, question number one, answer. Question number two, answer. Uh, or, or otherwise you write in a paper. Uh, at done you can uh, send it in the chat box. Then only you are eligible to get a, a certificate of excellence certificate. Right. And I, I will also discuss with you. I will ask if needed. I will ask uh, Mr. Thirumoran to unmute the mic in case if needed. Okay. Sir. If all the ten is correct, it is a genius. Five is correct or average. Ten seconds to reveal the answer. Remember, this is the arrow mark. What comes here? What comes here? Whether it is A or B. Whether it is A or B. What comes here in the question mark? There are two answers here. You have to choose any one answer. And uh, I think Mr. Thirumolan, you can unmute. So that we will have discussion. Okay, sir. Participants, your mic, mic yes, is unmuted. Whether it is A or B. Sir, A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Whatever you said, please write it in the paper and, yes, uh, and uh, send it to the chat box quickly. I will give you uh, 10 minutes time. Uh, Mr. Thirumulan, take 10, 10 minutes time, right? Okay, give, give, give them 10 minutes time. And after this uh, quiz, probably I can move on to uh, next uh, uh, slide. So until then, uh, they will be busy with that and give 10 minutes time, right? Okay. Okay, correct.
Okay, we have completed this. Uh, move on to the next one, right? Which word is different from rest of the three words? It means. Okay. Uh, okay. Anybody? Half in C smart, sir. B. Smart, sir. Dump. Somebody. C smart. Somebody. Dump. C. C smart. C smart. Okay. Anyhow. 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 Smart. Okay. C. What is C? Smart. 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 Very good. Uh, Smart. What comes next? 2, 64. 4, 8, 16, 32. What 64. comes here? 64. 64. 64. 64. 64. 64. C. Absent C. C. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Some of you... Is very genius. Some of you is very intelligent. Are you calling it? Okay. If Mike is Stacy and Stacy is Tom, is Mike Tom? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very good. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely correct. Fun. Very good. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. What come next? No choice. <laughs> 34. 34. Okay. 34. 34. 34. Yeah, I think everybody is intelligent. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, super. What comes next? Here, 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 here. What comes here? B. 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 Option B. Option B. Okay, let's see. Somebody. Excellent. Excellent. Correct answer. Arm is to hand, as branch is to. Is all is to hand as branch, as branch is to leave 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 all of you wrong. This question. It's a very hard one. It's a symbolized. This is one symbol. This is one symbol. This is one symbol. This one here. What comes next? Which symbol will come? A, B, C, D. B, B, B. Okay, all of you said B. Let's see. Oh, yes, sir. B, sir. B, sir. B. 
आंसर नेक्स्ट वन स्ट्रॉ इज टू ड्रिंक फूड इज टू प्ले ड्रिंक इज टू स्ट्रॉ इज टू ड्रिंक फूड इज टू प्ले ड्रिंक इज टू कप 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 सर सर Six semicolon sixteen, seven semicolon twenty six, seven point seven five semicolon thirty eight. Little more, little more tougher. It's like very tough. Am I right? It's very tough. Eight semicolon forty eight. Eight semicolon forty eight. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? No. Okay, no, no. only, only one. Okay, let's see. Eight is to forty-two. Eight is to forty-two. Eight is to forty. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Fifty-five. Fifty-two. And uh, that's really a tough one. Remember, my dear friends. If you say, I think most of you secured a seven correct. And your IQ is one twenty to one twenty nine, and uh, you are above average. All of you are above average, very near to genius, very near to genius. And uh, I congratulate you, Mr. Thirumulan. Please, uh, please uh, mute the mic. Please mute. The mic. Sir, please explain the last one. Last one. Last one, please explain. Last one you want to repeat, ah? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. How to uh, how to solve this? Where are they? Seven five thirty eight. He is asking about uh, uh, how it comes, eh? Uh, it is a very big calculation. I will uh, you, you you can you will you will get my number. Phone number, you can uh, chat with me. I will send you the answer. Right, that is uh, the uh, solution. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Trimulan, you can mute the mic. Okay. And uh, now we continue with the other. Uh, uh we will continue with the next slide uh, the signs of emotional intelligence or the uh, symbols of emotional intelligence uh, my dear friends uh, uh, higher emotional intelligence uh, is always uh, positively correlated uh, with the sign one better social relations uh, uh, for children right Uh, among children and teens uh, emotional uh, intelligence positively correlates with uh, good social interactions relationship and uh, negatively uh, correlates with the deviance from social norms and to anti social behavior measured both in and out uh, of school as reported by the uh, children themselves when there is a when there is a, a survey conducted among the children right so in such a way the high emotional intelligence uh, uh, makes them uh, uh they are having a very good uh, social relations uh then coming to sign two my dear friends a uh, better social relations for uh, adults high emotional intelligence uh, uh high emotional intelligence uh, among the adults is correlated with better self perception remember better self perception of social ability and uh, 
more successful interpersonal relationship while less interpersonal aggression and problems so that is how the adults are getting a better social relationship uh, coming to sign 3 my dear friends uh, better academic uh, achievements what do you mean by that this may be very much correlated among the students better academic uh, achievements right uh, when we talks about the better academic achievements among the students emotional intelligence is con- correlated with the greater achievements uh, in academics uh, as reported uh, uh, by teachers but generally not uh, higher grades uh, once uh, the factor of iq is uh, is taken into account when there is no iq then automatically the students is having a, a very good eq that leads to better academic achievements right so coming to the fourth one is sign 4 better relationship uh, around uh, uh, better relationship around uh, you uh, is something uh, the psychological uh, uh well being uh, among the society and uh, maintaining a very cordial uh, understanding and relationship uh, uh, with the, with the everyone uh, in the society uh, coming to the last sign five uh, the person is having a high emotional intelligence uh, is always a very very cool person a cool body uh, if you want to ask me a, a example a famous example that everyone knows is uh, uh, magendra singh uh, dhoni ms dhoni is a former indian cricket captain um, he is known for his coolness and uh, that makes him because he is having very high uh, emotional intelligence uh, that is why uh, whatever the situation uh, he made himself a very cool and calm uh, that makes him to take a successful uh, uh, winning uh, matches uh, of course uh, you can come across uh, there are certain matches there are few matches india is on the verge of the defeat but whereas in the last over or in the last but two overs um the the decision taken by the captain as a uh, uh, magendra singh dhoni uh, that makes the indian team uh, makes to win the match uh, because of his coolness and makes the decision uh, in a systematic way right so these are the uh, uh, points that we have seen with regard to the uh signs now we move on to next one my dear friends uh, effects of emotional intelligence the effects are two things one is high and low that's all one is high and low uh, we must have the high emotional intelligence there is no doubt on that when we don't have high emotional intelligence automatically uh, we will be facing lot of problems and those problems uh, will will lead to uh, so many issues right uh, if you have very low emotional intelligence no problem uh, you can able to find out uh, by way of your behavior right uh, uh, with this uh, science uh, my dear friends uh, you can able to understand uh, how your students are behaving and uh, what type of uh, Uh, what is that uh, uh, re- advice or uh, counseling is required to them right uh, coming to next this one uh, emotional intelligence mm, high uh, people having high emotional intelligence they have they they always be patient they are stable they are very much predictable uh, they are consistent and they are a very good uh, listener right there is no doubt on that right Uh, when we talks about uh, the person who is having a low emotional intelligence they are resistant right they won't be very cool and calm they won't be patient <laughs> they are very much resistant and uh, <coughs> they won't be stable they are very passive they won't be predictable they are unresponsive they won't be consistent they are very slow and remember and remember most importantly they won't be listened to anybody else because they are stubborn because they are stubborn they are uh, very much keen on their own uh, points so that is what uh, this emotional intelligence talks about right uh, we move on to next one high emotional intelligence uh, my dear friends uh, um let's see what are all the symptoms uh, uh and uh, what are all the points related elements related to high emotional intelligence where high emotional intelligence is very much correlated with uh, 
the people they handle criticism without blame and excuses so this is the first one so there is so uh, something uh, uh, very very uh, important if a person is ready to uh, accept a criticism or feedback or blame uh, then they are having high emotional intelligence if any mistakes has happened if somebody is pointed you you have to accept it coolly right that, that is very important one you, you may ask my question sir i did I didn't make any mistake but they are uh, making uh, uh, they are blaming me how can be ideal right in that situation you just respond not to react remember there is a difference responding the queries is different from reacting to the queries right coming to the second point my dear friends uh, they are open minded the people are very much open minded you have to be open minded when you have a high emotional intelligence coming to the third ones they are all good listener listen first unless otherwise you listen you cannot understand what others say so listening is very very important right let us continue with the same title high emotional intelligence is correlated with the point number 4 they don't sugar coat the truth what exactly they will share with you they will never sugar coat the truth they will just uh, uh, explain you exactly what is the real thing high emotional intelligent people coming to next one they follow better psychological well being better psychological well being that is the most important one coming to the last one they apologize remember people having high emotional intelligence of always apologize when they are wrong they are not stubborn when they are wrong they admit that there is a mistake and they are apologize so this is what the high emotional intelligence the people is talks about now we move on to other side of emotional intelligence that is called low emotional intelligence right low emotional intelligence my dear friends uh, the people having very low emotional intelligence are very much correlated they always uh, uh, saying that i am right i am right i won't accept uh, whatever you are saying what i am saying is right this type of mindset uh, then they will have they normally have people having low emotional intelligence and coming to the next one um, they behave insensitively this is very very important there is no sense in their behavior there is no decency in their behavior they will do all stupid things they will do all idiotic things they will all do all silly things insensitively people having low emotional intelligence right coming to the third one those people always blame others this and that i do this because of that i did this because of that i did this because of that gentleman they always blame others for their problems for their problems they won't accept uh, it is my mistake low intelligence people are very much correlated with these signs uh, and these behaviors coming to the fourth point uh, they have very poor coping skills coping skills what do you mean by that coping skills they will never cope with you they will never uh, move along with others they always stub on with their own decisions with their own uh, with their own uh, behavior those type of people people having low emotional intelligence you can find out there are some students behave like this so automatically you have to counsel them to improve their low emotional intelligence that's all coming to next one they have a emotional outbursts they suddenly start crying they suddenly shouting all these things will come without the basic reason without real reason so if you found enough if you can come across those type of behavior among the students 
please identify those students and uh, make it in a separate room uh, for counseling or once in a, uh, two days or once in a week and just watch them how they are improving their behavior and all coming to the next one uh, let's point uh, they struggle with relationship they never maintain a cordial relationship with anybody in the store many one in the class students having a low emotional intelligence may not have a very strong or a basic relationship they always be ideal they always be cool and calm they no always be very uh, silent suddenly they will shout they will suddenly uh, start uh, you know discussing all these thing so these type of behavior will come from those kind of people right and coming to next one next slide that ladies and gentlemen now move on to the uh, next one is called uh, emotional intelligence uh, there is in a video uh, probably this should be the uh, last video before winding uh, the session uh, let's see how and uh, please watch this video once again uh, this is an emo emotional intelligence test video my dear friends uh, Uh, please watch please uh, actively participate uh, this uh, emotional intelligence test uh, uh, to identify whether you have high emotional intelligence or not that's all because just now we completed uh, that slide that is why i have inserted uh, this video here it is only a 2 minute uh, quiz to find out uh, whether you are having good emotional intelligence or not i will not switch on the mic to you for this video please attend it uh, please uh, record your answer in a page across to the uh, uh, the group chat group right please watch remember this uh, this video is not to test your iq your eq i i, I discussed yesterday itself uh, uh, we have made it very clear there is a lot of difference uh, between the eq to iq right this is a test for you to uh, help you to determine if you have a high eq do you think before you speak emotionally intelligent people take a moment to think before giving a response emotionally intelligent people that is a statement do you think you speak emotionally intelligent people take a moment to think before giving response next do you think before you speak they don't make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions do you dwell on negative thoughts 
people with the high eq work hard to replace unwanted thoughts with the positive ones yes no yes no like that you have to write for each question this is the third question yes no yes no that's all I repeat again. This is the second question. Do you learn from negative feedback? Emotionally intelligent people listen to their critics and ask. what can i learn from this you have to write yes no yes no only my dear friends if you put yes for all the questions you are correct you have a very strong emotional intelligence there is no no for every question every question carries only yes and if you put yes for all the questions your iq is strong you are sir your uq is as very high let us continue the presentation emotional intelligence in the workplace emotional intelligence in the workplace this is something very important my dear friends right as personalities we differ from person to person you were you were uh, uh, in your office the next person sitting before you or adjacent to you may have a different opinions may have a different set of styles and all people with high emotional intelligence can lead the charge right uh, to multiple examples of uh, emotional intelligence in the workplace some examples uh, follows i will show you the some of the examples ah uh, these are the Uh, some of the examples that we come across my dear friends uh, people express themselves openly and respectfully without fear of offending coworkers people express themselves openly remember if you were colleagues are offending if your works behave as a uh, offending workers then automatically don't be uh, move away then just express yourself openly and uh, with decent respect that is very important and coming to next one resilience is evident uh, when new initiatives are introduced and uh, coming to the third one my dear friends uh, the flexibility among the employees the adjustable but ultimately the work has to be carried out coming to the next one employee <coughs> employees spend time together outside of work remember 
employees spend time together with the outside of work that is also with the i'm coming to the next one then is uh, freedom of creativity freedom of creativity that is also there you have to give an opportunity uh, uh, among the workers uh, to to uh, to create uh, uh, for the new innovative work uh, that can be carried out right active listening in the meetings is the now when there is a meeting we don't have any other work the only work that we have to do is listening listening the meeting understanding the meeting then only we can able to carry out employees will find a compassionate ear when needed as we all have bad days if any employer if any uh, no uh, worker uh, find a bad day it is our responsibility to solve them to console them to support them so because uh, every anybody can get a, any bad day at any time so that is what we used to talk about my dear friends now we move on to other slide using emotional intelligence in education right it's an opportunity of creating a take break or feelings corner in a classroom normally we used to have a time table from morning 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock or from 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock depends upon the uh course we are having a time table uh, uh there is a technology there is a sub suggestion from the researcher we have to give a, a break we have to take a break or 10 minutes or 15 minutes uh or feelings corner feelings corner uh, near to a classroom the student has to go and go to the particular room to share their feelings to the faculty members the faculty members uh, must be available during that time because the student may come to share the feelings creating a take a break or a feelings corner uh, of a classroom so that the the students can come across right share their feelings and uh, ultimately the faculty in discussion with the other faculty members can uh, uh, suggest uh, uh, what is the solution for the feelings enable young students to step away uh, to identify and explore their emotions we have to give opportunity to the uh, to the students so that uh, uh, we can identify the emotions what is uh, bad or worst or good or whatever may be then there is a called a punching bag uh, you can uh, you can see the punching bag where sand inside and it has been thrown and has been hanged uh, that can be put in a particular place uh, so that the, when the students are going uh, for the restroom or something like that uh, they can punch so they can uh, they can this, this kind of punching can help the students uh, uh, feelings has come out so they can be normal that is what uh, the researcher suggested punching punching back at the end of the day in a college or classroom or the veranda so that the students can punch and they can able to uh, come out with a uh, share their feelings and uh, students can create an autobiography this is something uh, another important uh, uh, suggestion uh, to create a high emotional intelligence among the students students can create also students to write their own history till then from probably you can see some students may can remember uh, Uh, from their third age uh, some students can remember from their uh, uh, fifth age what they did and all let them write they can write and submit it so whether it is a bad thing or good thing let them write they can share in the classroom it's a lot of fun is going on right first you have to collect all the autobiographies of the students individual up to the college up to this age 18 age what you did Uh, year five, at the age of five, what you did? Anything remember? Right. Then at the age of six, what you did? Anything remember? Right. So like that, you can collect all the uh, information. Ask the students to write uh, in a spiral binding copy. Let them share it. Right. It will be interesting and fun. Right. Creating opportunities for uh, uh, metacognition is a very beneficial. not only for their education remember but also for their well being 
what do you mean by metacognition, my dear friends? Uh, thinking about one's thinking. Thinking about one's thinking. Give an opportunity to think. Give an opportunity for students to think. Let them write, let them study, let them perform, let them think. Give an opportunity to think. That is very, very important, right? Okay, coming to the last stage of uh, uh, my presentation, my dear friends, uh, ways to improve emotional intelligence generally. Ways to improve emotional intelligence. Uh, we have uh, three to four slides. Uh, uh, to con complete the session of these two days uh, uh, a program, faculty development program on emotional intelligence, right? Before that, uh, ways to improve uh, the emotional intelligence. Before that, uh, let me see the phenomenon of attitude. What do you mean by attitude? Attitude is the key for everything, my dear friends. Attitude is very important uh, for everything. If you have a good attitude, automatically your emotional intelligence will be high. I will just explain you in some of the, uh, with attitude, with the, uh, one concept, one example. How much did you see an iceberg? <coughs> uh, just to solve, follow the cursor, this is the sea. This is the sea level. And this is the uh, iceberg that we are seeing, right? above the sea level. But uh, the real iceberg is like this. This is the sea level. And uh, this is above the sea level. And remember, this is below the sea level. So only 10% of any iceberg is visible above the sea level. Remaining 90% is below the sea level, which is invisible which is invisible. So we cannot see it. I take that concept, I take that concept, iceberg concept, to explain attitude. This is the black line is called sea level. This is above the sea level is only 10%. And this is below the sea level, this is 90%. I made it in a Diagrammatic way. I made it in a diagrammatic way. This is sea level, right? Just watch. Just watch coming to the next slide. This is 90% below the sea level. This is 10% above the sea level, right? This is the sea level. Black code, black line is called a uh, sea level. Attitude is 90% of every individual inside, inside the individual. If this is unknown to others. We cannot see it. Others can't see it. Even our, ourselves can't see it. Our attitude is inner in our mind. Only knowledge and skills that we are performing is 10% that is known to others. Others can able to understand. So this uh, knowledge and skills became becoming a behavior of individual. This knowledge and skills becoming a behavior of individual. A very good dancer is performing excellent dance. A very good athletic has come up in a hundred meters dance effectively. He is a very good student studying very good and secured the first time behavior, right? The only 10%. Whereas the attitude of each and every individual is supported by values, standards, judgments, motives, ethics, beliefs. Every individual has a different belief. Men has a different belief. Women has a different belief. Teacher is having different belief. Student is having different belief. Depends upon um, the person. It is 90% inside, right? 19% inside the mind. This 10% is behavior that is visible to others. Now you can see, now you can see this 90% of attitude deciding the 10% of the behavior. This 90% of the attitude deciding the 10% of the behavior in each and every individual. 
so if you have a very good attitude if you have a very good behavior if you have a very good attitude <laughs> automatically your uh, behavior will be pakka your behavior will be systematic so now we move on to the last uh, topic of the presentation my dear friends uh, ways to improve emotional intelligence managing your negative emotions that is very very important you have to manage your negative emotions when you don't know how to manage your negative emotions automatically you will lock the those negative emotions among yourself you can't come out you can't come out then when you are able to manage and reduce when you are able to manage and reduce your negative emotions you are less likely to get overwhelmed you are always be cool you are always be cool and calm because you can able to manage your negative emotions uh, negative emotions will come uh, occasionally uh, if you find out any negative emotions uh, uh immediately watch uh, 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 a laughing uh, videos a comedy films a comedy clippings uh, and talk to your family members come out of that playing carrom board or you know chess and all so do something go to the uh, uh, you can't go out so go to the, within the uh, your house go just go get a, a good if, a breath do just go outside of the home and get breath just do some um, horticultural work or something like that so these things will help you to improve your emotional intelligence and manage your <coughs> negative emotions i uh, coming to the next one point number 3 utilize an assertive style of communication assertive style of communication what do you mean by that assertive style of communication right assertive style of communication is just nothing but uh, it goes a long way toward hearing respect without coming across as too aggressive or too passive you should not be too aggressive or at the same time you should not be too passive just assertive way of communication english professors know very well and this is what uh, that will be here useful emotional intelligent people know how to communicate their opinions and needs in a direct way while still respecting others at the same time you respecting others just decently and gently uh, just put your uh, point just uh, respond not to react it will come in the next way coming to point number 4 respond the queries instead of reacting responding instead of reacting during instances during instances of conflict emotional outbursts and feelings of anger are always common the emotionally intelligent persons knows how they stay how they stay calm during the stressful situations they don't make impulsive decisions my dear friends at the same time that can lead to a even a bigger problems if you take uh, uh, impulsive decisions they understand that in times of conflict the goal is a resolution and they make a conscious choice uh, to focus on ensuring that their actions and words are in alignment with other coming to the next one my dear friends we are talking about ways to improve communication this is a, a point number 6 utilizing the active listening skills in conversations emotionally intelligent people listen for clarity instead of just waiting for their turn to speak just for clarity active listening is very very important listening is very very important right be motivated what do you mean by that 
emotionally intelligent people are always self motivated and their attitude motivates they set goals and are resilient in the face of challenges in the face of challenges next one is practice ways to maintain a positive attitude what are all the ways to practice remember my dear friends don't underestimate the power of your attitude that is why we have seen the attitude if you have a strong attitude automatically you can able to be successful in your emotional intelligence remember a negative attitude easily infecting not only you but also surrounded by others surrounding by you surrounded by you others of a person always it so emotionally intelligent people have an our always having an awareness of the moods of those around them and to guard them correctly by way of effective utilization right coming to the next one my dear friends see challenges and criticisms as a learning opportunity the other way we call it as take the critics take the feedback as a positive one an important part of increasing your emotional intelligence is to be able to take a critic effectively remember instead of getting offended or defensive high emotional quotient people take a few moments to understand where the critic is coming from how it is affecting others or their own performance or their performance and how they can constructively solve the issues that is how they make it very clear my dear friends next one is practicing the self awareness this is something very very important emotionally intelligent people are always self aware and intuitive they are aware of their own emotions and how they can affect those around them they also pick up on others emotions and body language and use that information to enhance their communication skill you can get points from others body language itself that is what uh, practicing the self awareness coming to next one uh, empathizing the uh, empathize with others my dear friends emotionally intelligent people know how to empathize others they understand that empathy is a trait that shows emotional strength not weakness empathy helps them to relate to others on a <coughs> basic human level it opens the door uh, for mutual respect and understand between people with different opinions and situations coming to the last one my dear friends be approachable and sociable and of course give yourself with some space to perform well emotionally intelligent people come off as an approachable they smile and give off a positive presence they utilize appropriate remember they utilize appropriate social skills based on their relationship with whom whomever they are around they never bother about who or what everybody is equal to them they can able to approach them effectively they utilize appropriate social skills based on their relationship with whomever they are around they have a great interpersonal skills and know how to communicate clearly whether the communication is verbal or non verbal that does not matter so i think uh, uh i have a uh, eagles story my dear friends uh, in just 3 to 4 minutes uh, a short video please uh, watch this video why we have to change if you have a low in, in you know emotional intelligence please change yourself we have to learn from our mistakes so this uh, uh, video will help you this is the video in tamil uh, since uh, the participants are from north india i will skip this video 
and uh, come to the end uh, of my presentation, my dear friends. And for the good beginning, the entire world facing downfalls in one or another way because of this COVID virus uh, for so many, you know, for the past one years, right? Stay optimistic and progressive. Remember uh, what the, the exact decisions that is required. My dear friends, uh, emotional intelligence is not a one hour, it's not a two day learning. It is a lifelong learning, right? So with that, uh, I come to the end of my presentation, right? Uh, I take this opportunity uh, to thank all the participants and uh, <laughs> the principal and all the faculty members of CNI Arts and Science College uh, for having organized this wonderful program, ladies and gentlemen. So now I request uh, over to organizer and uh, if participants are requested to give your feedback, uh, both in the chat box as well as uh, I request, uh, if time permits, uh, uh, first I request uh, the college will speak, authorities will speak, then uh, uh, we'll go to the participants. Thank you, thank you one and all. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is the time to share the reviews. Uh, we arranged four judges for evaluation Dr. Thirmulan, sir, Professor Pathiban from BCE, Professor Sivakumar, sir, from MCA department, and Professor Balambihe from BCE. Uh, in quiz contest, so many participants had given the right answers, but we had given the first preference to the first right response, and overall, we have three participants on the basis of highly given right answers. Now, I would like to invite our principal ma'am to announce the participants who were selected for the Certificate of Excellence. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Hema ma'am, Hema ma'am and the team for taking over much effort for the past, uh, that is on the two-day session. So thanks a lot. And thank you, sir. Balamurgan, uh, sir. The session is yeah. very nice. And it goes uh, more interactive. Uh, faculty have feel uh, highly satisfied. Uh, that is uh, some of the techniques which you had uh, implemented. It takes over. Uh, the practical session is more attractive for uh, faculty uh, to come out over from their uh, innovative ideas. Uh, so let me save over. That is uh, the participants, the last uh, that is on um, the past, that is the past two days who have been taken over uh, the session in a prompt manner. So, first one is Mr. Professor Santosh from Sri Ramakrishna Medication School of Koyamutu, has been awarded with the excellent certificate. And Professor Hema Sundari uh, from Jain College of Chennai. So, so she, uh, she too has been uh, take over the excellent certificate and once your voice is breaking. Breaking. Yes. Breaking. Is, is it not audible? Is it audible? Now, can you able to get excellent certificate the persons who are being selected? Tirumula? Yes, I had announced three, three, uh, three excellent person, person who have been securing the certificate. Okay, ma'am. Can you able to hear the three persons? Third person. Uh, okay. Shall I want to repeat it once again? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Third person, Professor Surja Pandian from our institution, from Anne College of Arts and Science. She awards uh, the excellent certificate. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So can you? Yes. Yes. Shall I want to repeat it, sir? Yeah. Thirumulan, sir. Shall I want to repeat it? Yeah. Repeat. Yeah. I want to repeat it. Okay. Professor Santosh from Sri Ramakrishna Matriculation School, Koyamuttur. The second person is Professor Hema Sundari 
from Jain College of Chennai. Then next one is Professor Suja Pandian from Anne College of Arts and Science. Right? Right. Ah, uh, okay. So, shall we move on to vote of thanks? Before that, can I get a feedback uh, uh, from the participants? Ah, yes, sir. From the yes. participants. Um, anybody, anybody wanted to talk? Uh, just for uh, two minutes, uh, uh, Mr. Thirumulan, please uh, unmute the mic for all the participants. Let's see if anybody is talking. Okay. Sir, I'm from uh, uh, Queen's College of Arts and Science for Women. Okay. Which area? Uh, uh, Kunal Kulam, sir. That is Kunal Kulam Pudukotai, sir. Okay. Yesterday, I was missing your uh, things, sir, because I couldn't able to connect to the uh, Zoom me. Okay. But today, it was uh, excellent, sir. But uh, I am really so missing yesterday. Really, I was missed. Uh, it's a uh, uh, some more minute I have been uh, spent to uh, recast your uh, uh, video in um, YouTube, sir. Really, I missed it. And today it was excellent, sir. I was uh, really uh, this was really a huge session for us, and even it is very much helpful for my uh, uh, which uh, which is to be uh, improve my. <laughs> Uh, not only in my job side, but also in my family side also, I could I got to improve myself and uh, whatever you're saying, this emotional intelligence, uh, I think uh, this will help me to make more, uh, uh, help me to make more, uh, uh, more to improve my uh, confidence levels. Right? Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody? Dr. Lavanya, sir. Uh, sir, is it audible, sir? Yeah. Uh, sir, I Hello? Yeah. Working as assistant professor name, Jane College, Meenam. I am feeling uh, proud that I was assistant professor worked in Anne or Anne College of Arts. And sir, secretary, Mr. Ho for giving me that wonderful opportunity to be a part of that college. I also thank the principal, Dr. Monica Vaksidi, ma'am, who guided and supported me. The ninth session, sir, which gives me the information in half my It's a very interactive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Anybody? Sir, Dr. Lavanya, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, from Pondicherry University. Yes, please. please. Sir, uh, actually, your session was very interesting. Uh, um, it was good also. But uh, one thing I miss is your session is uh, ways to develop this uh, UP, you know, sir. Uh, you have spent only less time. If you have more, uh, spent more time on it, it will be better, sir. What I feel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good. Thank you. Hello. Can you able to hear me? Sir? Yeah, yeah. I hear. Oh, that is the thing. Another thing also, no, the last one and a half year, because of this pandemic situation, everything has been. So whatever you explained, it is normal situation. It will be uh, totally different. So even uh, Right. So, if you better ex explain more about that, it will be better. That is past my session. But uh, remaining thing is very good. And your videos, your examples, everything is excellent, sir. And uh, entire section, how the time was finished. Uh, Yeah, yeah. And uh, so over to over to organizer. Uh, please unmute. Uh, please mute the mic. Please mute the mic for all the participants. Over to the organizer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, participants. Now I invite IKS coordinator Professor Lata Ma'am to deliver word of thanks. Yeah. 
Hello, Primulan sir, can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma yes, ma yes, sir, yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir, we feel it's a uh, very optimistic okay, to your interactive section, sir. Thank you very yeah. much for your presentation, sir. It's Thank very you. interactive, sir, and your section is very excellent, sir. Thank, Thank you. you very much, sir. Uh, now we go to the formal vote of thanks, sir. Good, good afternoon to Ananda. It's my privilege to deliver my vote of thanks on this webinar, Empowerment Through Emotional Intelligence. On behalf of Annie College of Arts and Science, I express my special thanks to our resource person, Professor Dr. B. Balamurugan, Research Department of Economics, Periyar, EVR Government College, Tuchirapalli, speaker and trainer, life skill management and resource person, UGC, HRDC, Bharat Dasan University. Sir, we are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence and particularly how we enhance our IQ and, and to face UQ through your activities. Thank you very much, sir. I extend my gratitude to our management for the motivational support. I would like to thank our principal, madam, Dr. S.P. Manike Vasagi for her enthusiastic support. A special thanks to our vice principal, Professor F. Elangerian and Professor K. Raja for their unflinching support and coordination. I wish to express my gratitude to Mr. A. Kaliraj, Relationship Manager, ICT Academy of Tamil Nadu, and Professor S. Balambihai, Coordinator of ICT and College of Arts and Science for organizing the wonderful session. And also, I extend my thanks to Dr. Tirumulan, convener of this webinar, and Professor S. Pathiban, software developer, and Dr. A. Nepal Raj for technically supporting this session as no program can become successful with a single person. So I extend my heartfelt thanks to our participants of Tamil Nadu and various states for their active participations and made this webinar in a successful manner. Last but not least, as per the quotes by Albert Einstein, it's the supreme art of a teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. With this warm words and a kind message, we move to the end of the today's webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for giving a wonderful lecture to our teacher society. Thank you, one and all. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, participants, uh, for showing your eagerness for the past today. Uh, thanks a lot. Bala uh, Mehi, ma'am, did you want to say anything else? Uh, special regards to Balamurgan sir for uh, uh, handling this session in uh, such a manner. So our faculties are highly satisfied uh, and our participants are, have been highly satisfied on your session. So thanks a lot, sir, and to the ICT Academy, Mr. Kali Raj. And Bala Mehi have taken over much effort with our team of Anne College of Arts and Science. Thanks to all faculties of Anne College and from other college are uh, showing over much interest on this session. Ma'am, you want to uh say... Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, dear participants, feedback link will also be sent to your mail ID and certificate will be issued uh, in three days and it will be sent to your mail ID. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Certificate. All the best. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Participants, sir. Uh,